Welcome to the video lecture on social engineering. At the end of this session, students will be able to understand the principles of social engineering, recognize the signs of social engineering, identify ways to protect yourself from social engineering. So, what is social engineering? Will be discussed in this video. Who is a social engineer? The tactics a social engineer uses. Also, we will be discussing about the practices to stop social engineering. So, what is this social engineering? Social engineering is one of the most effective routes to stealing confidential data from an organization. According to Siemens Enterprise Communication, based in Germany, in recent Siemens test, 85% of the office workers were dubbed by engineering. So at its core, it is manipulating a person into knowingly or unknowingly giving up information, essentially hacking into a person to steal valuable information. It is one kind of psychological manipulation. So who does this social engineering? It is called as or referred to as a social engineer. So who is this social engineer? A social engineer is a person, male or female, who uses this technique to gain unlawful entry to a secured system or network, whether for personal gain or to take code or to just explore or maybe for fun. So the social engineer can be a hacker, he can be a cracker or he can be a disgruntled employee having some issues with the fellow workers or within an organization. So Kelvin Mentick, Kel Kevin Ment Mitnick. So Kevin Mitnick has described social engineering as the most effective weapon in gaining entry to a system. He is the person who has been given credit to making the term social engineer so popular. So it is Kevin who has been uh, making this particular term that is social engineer and why is he because he is a reformed computer criminal who now works as a consultant and as a result of his past he is now subjected to hacker continually trying to deface his website he currently owns so basically this once upon a time this kevin was a criminal okay a criminal as in a person doing cyber crimes and now he uh, he is basically a person who is reformed computer criminal and now is working for, as a consultant so he has been given the credit of making this particular term of social engineering popular so what are the techniques that are used by the social engineers so there are different techniques we will see each one of them in detail so the first one is dumper Diving. It's also called as dumpster diving, also known as thrashing. It is basically the act of searching through a company's dumpster for information. So it ranges from checking the phone books, memos, policy manuals, source code, disk, tapes. It's basically searching for all the data, whether in the physical format or soft format, and trying to find can we get access to some of the confidential data or employee data, knowingly or unknowingly. So the second technique that is used is phone fracking. So this was very commonly in 2000, 2000, like some years after 2000 also. So basically it is the act of gaining illegal access to a telecom network. Many use this technique to allow themselves to make long calls or distant phone calls for free. Originally it was done by whistling into phone that responded to a specific frequency. Currently these techniques require, means in today's time, uh, techniques in current times require more technical means to access the network so phone fracking is not that popular now but once upon a time when this uh, internet and this telephones was very new lot of frauds and data was recovered or known using this phone fracking technique or making phone fake calls so then the next technique that is called as shoulder surfing it is plainly described as direct observation skills to obtain information it is basically looking over someone's shoulder while they enter a pin or a password most successfully executed in busy places or just by walking around an office and checking to see if any passwords are posted on pc inside of the cubicles the techniques that sometimes yield the most important information for a social engineer so nothing you have to do in this you just have to 
watch and be a keen observer and just observe them well or guess like from their typing and their position what their code might be like so next technique that is used is called as phishing and it is achieved when a social engineer sends email or notification to company email or even to normal email account requesting information about renewing password user information or pin numbers so basically they create a website which is having a similar effect and then the users get a feel that they are accessing the authentic website however it is not so so the next technique that is used is called as Trojan horse and it is basically a program used to create a backdoor into a computer. Social engineer will use this backdoor to bypass security of the company and allow for them to monitor how an employee gain access to the network. It is basically able to upload other software onto the machine to obtain passwords and keystroke catchers to gain other sensitive information. So if you can see it's basically hiding into a particular program or within an attachment or email the Stroyzen hordes get a backdoor entry into the computer or the account information and then they are at the background installed so basically uh, these were some of the techniques which are very commonly used by the social engineers so what are the ways to stop that the first important thing is prevention is always better than cure so walk through the company and make sure employees are not leaving personal or sensitive information in plain view of passing people such as uh, information related to email accounts login information or password use dummy accounts to monitor network and also the use the admin account as a dummy as well to monitor who attempts to access it and trap them in order before they crack into the system so make a security policy that enforces that the password must contain a certain combination of words numbers or characters so basically these are very small steps but they ensure that you take a precaution against an attack so the most important thing is protecting yourself a security aware culture basically can help employees identify and repel social engineering attacks recognize inappropriate request for information take ownership for corporate security understand risk and impact of security breaches social engineering attacks are personal so password management use two-factor authentication physical security obviously cannot be ignored so understand what information you are putting on the web for targeting at social network so some of the social networking sites that you might be using is google personal box twitter facebook linkedin just see what information you are posting onto it and be very cautious and also careful at the same time so to summarize social engineering attacks mainly target people or your employee every such attack has a physical and psychological aspect associated with it all social engineering attacks and attackers have visible trends impact of such attack can be multi-dimensional you should not uh, underestimate these type of attack organization security is only as strong as its weakest employee so techno technology is only as good as employee who uses it and processes it which defines its usage so basically you need to prioritize focus on people is the call of the day that is you go for awareness sensitizing the employees about the breaches that can happen due to social engineering training them and having a role mapping with respect to the rights and privileges within the organization or the network so i want you all now to pause the video for some time and answer the question uh, so the dash program is used to create a back door into a computer and these are the options so the right answer is Trojan horse moving ahead to the next question technique used by a social engineer include phishing fake email Trojan horse and all of the above so the right answer is all of the above so for more details you can visit these references so thank you dear for students for your patient listening thank you one and all